Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, talented fighter making the walk here tonight. I will be surprised, Joe, if we see him put on his back at any point tonight. Incredible takedown defense, great balance, very solid base, an outstanding sprawl that's very quick and athletic. And for a lot of fighters, they waste a lot of energy trying to bring this man down. Got to think the smart approach will be to see if you can get the shot early, but if it doesn't materialize, go to plan B. This guy's takedown defense north of 90%. Some of the best takedown artists in the world have failed to take him down. This guy has some of the best takedown defense we've ever seen inside the octagon. His timing and his utilization of underhooks and sprawl are world class. Well, the crowd pops as this guy makes the walk to the octagon, and you can see why if you've watched film on him. This is a true mixed martial artist, plus skills in all areas, and figures to be a handful, really, for anybody in this division. Probably comfortable tonight anywhere the fight goes. Truly a well-rounded MMA fighter. You know, we, we, we trot that term out there a lot. This guy fits the bill. This guy is very well-rounded. He literally has no weaknesses in his game. He is technical in all areas of mixed martial arts. for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart, with the same height and some differences in reach. All right, we send it inside the octagon to the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of five wins, five losses. He stands. Six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Big! And now, here's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 14 wins, no losses. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Richmond, Virginia, the chosen one. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this Ready, one. Ready. Dateline, London, England. Good to have you with us, as always, as we get underway. With oh, jumping knee! Hard uppercut! And now he lands a combination! Powerful left hand. Big he body shot! shot. Body. Hard straight punch. That one hurt. Oh, oh big nice knee. knee! Oh! This could be it! Oh, look at this! Who saw that coming? Hard left hand. Oh! He's teeing off with some vicious shots. Oh, elbow to the head. Snaps off the jab effectively there. Oh, Lands a beautiful, beautiful elbow. there. Oh, oh big vicious knee! knee. Oh. He hurt him with that punch in the clinch. To the feet. This could be it right here. Oh! Back and forth we go. Oh! Man! Hard jab. Nasty combinations here. Hurt him with that uppercut. Nice leg kick. Well, Joe, you gotta fault the strategy here. I'm not saying he bet on the opponent, but he's moving right into that. Look at the little legs in the head. Wow. He's hurt. Wow! Another knockdown! Wow! And that's gonna do it! Goes for the flying knee and lands it right on the button. 
Yeah, Joe, another one for the highlight reel here. And when it comes to the knee strikes, you don't necessarily need to put a lot of mustard on it to get the desired result. Oftentimes, it's about the location and the accuracy of the strike. He got the knee up to the target. He did so quickly, and that spelled the end of the night for his opponent. Let's check it out from a different angle. Great angle here. Ba-boom! Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 32 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the chosen one. So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night, I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go, but at the very least, you can be sure. His next fight will be a big one, and he will celebrate deep into the night with his teammates, his coaches, and his friends after this monumental victory here under the bright lights tonight. You have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to 